Okay, we've now charged the battery, so let's see if the car is going to turn over. Iron up. First turn of the key, she's back. Okay, that's the all sort of set up now, so I've got up, up, sat down, well, sat now, phone mount up, uh, got phone plugged into charge, and got the dash cam plugged in as well. So, I'm going to drive carefully because I'm in the wrong way. I normally back it in, but after the events of yesterday, um, I, after the events of yesterday, I haven't decided to just back it in last night just in case the battery never held a charge. So, how did the how did the battery manage to go flat? Well, it was my own stupid fault. Um, normally, um, if I'm going to put in uh, the tire inflator, which you plug into the 12 volt socket, normally I would just turn the engine over, but no, I just put the tyre, put tyre pressure on, um, without turning the engine on, and I put three or four tyres, I mean it, it didn't sound as if it was on for very long, it was only on maybe on about a minute each tyre, if that, and came back to start the car, and I noticed that the touch screen had frozen, on uh, buttons, like I could change, get into the heating me menu, and I couldn't do anything else. And then all of a sudden, I switched the ignition off and on again, and well, it just it just started clicking over, doing nothing. So. That's how the battery got flat, and unfortunately for me, I wound out my jump leads, and I couldn't get a hold of them, and I was I was actually going over, going over to Fife to pick up the little ones, and I had to use the family Skoda instead, the puddle jumper. So you can, you can basically think of a little bit of stinking mood. I did do a bit of a basil fault and I actually did kick the car. Um, so, yeah, but I'd just like to thank my wife. Um, she managed to get a jump pack from a friend. Um, so thank you to Alan and Kat for one night their jump pack. And we managed to get the car started. The car then had a wee run out to um, out to Pink Caitland just to give the battery some charge. I just sat there for sat for about half an hour beforehand, sitting on the drive just for the engine running. And I took out for half an hour spin, so the car was running for a good hour to charge the battery. And I've come out this, I've come out this afternoon, and the battery is fine. Well, the car started again first time. But it's just a thing, I'm now going to be wary of this battery, so I'm probably going to pick up a, a little jump pack that you can get. It's maybe like the size of a tablet, or just a battery condition, and I believe the C-Tech ones are the business. So I'm going to be looking to get, get ahead of them. Just keep an eye on the battery, really. Really did put a little bit of a dampener on my day yesterday. Um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a good day. So that's just a little update on the cactus. Um, I never did quite get to go and locate a branch and uh, smack the. 
smack the hell out of it, giving it a ju jolly good thrashing as Basil would have done. But maybe, maybe a little kick encouraged it. But yeah. Anyway, that's enough of a little ramble and a little update to this video. Uh, I was meant to be filming a series, a couple of videos actually, but that's sort of got way laid for this plan. So potentially the next video you'll see will be a 50,000 mile review on the puddle jump for the Skoda Fabio. So I'd just like to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and I'll catch you in a future video. Farewell.